But Fermat's little theorem is one of these like famous little number theory results that, uh, well, it's like kind of at the basis of this cryptography and it's like taught in at the, ver at the beginning of like a number theory class, like math two or three hundred something. So if the, um, you have a prime P, so let's say if P is a prime and A is just some sort of natural number, which is not divisible by P. So not divisible by P. Then if you do this calculation, A to the power P minus one, you always get the number one mod P. So we could do like some little examples of this. So let's look at an example. So let's do maybe P, our prime, let's say that's equal to five. And let's pick A, our number, for instance, equal to three. So something like that. Now let's look at three to the power five minus one, which is the same thing as three to the power four. Now three to the four, that's actually not so hard to calculate because it's three squared squared. Three squared is nine and then nine times nine is 81. So this is equal to 81. Check it out. Remember reducing mod whatever really just means you divide by that thing and keep the remainder. What happens if you divide 81 by five and keep the remainder? It'd be one. Um, and that's actually really kind of obvious because it ends in a one, right? And you know, that's one more than something that's divisible by 10, which is inherently divisible by five. So look, we have an example of this Fermat's little theorem working. We took something to the power prime minus one and we got one mod five.